What is going on, boys? We are back. No face cam. I might get one. We'll, we'll figure it out. But um, if you don't know who I am, for the past couple of years, I have been making posts over on DFS Sports Reddit. Um, I make a post. My name is Shook. Um, make a post for every NFL slate, every NBA slate. Um, preseason is right around the corner for NBA as well. Um, it's basically a thread. You can ask me whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I will be starting my Discord. Um, but don't worry if you don't want to, you know, join it. Um, it's through Patreon. Then you connect with Discord. If you don't want to join it, don't worry. Um, you can still ask me questions on the thread. Nothing is going to change from the end of last year for MVA, where like I would still make posts and answer all your questions. Nothing's gonna change. I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging on that. Um, I feel like most people, when they start their own Discord, they just don't do anything else. So I'm still gonna have that free stuff um, where you can ask me whatever. I'll always answer your guys' questions, etc. But yeah, um, Discord's here. Um, it's been three years with you guys, I believe. I feel like I've shown enough to where um, I think I'd be shooting myself in the foot if I weren't um, going to try to um, take this up as an opportunity. So um, we're just going to see where it goes. Um, if it fails, it fails. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, yeah. Um and on the YouTube side of things, uh, the videos will be public from here on out as well. If you ever need to get a hold of me, you can message me on Twitter, um, Tori Langley1092, or you can message me over on Reddit. So let's take a look at this slate. So the uh, be a Buffalo at LA at oh god, Buffalo at the Rams uh, over under is 52 and a half. Buffalo is favored by two and a half. All right, let's get into the slate. Uh, probably going to be a little bit of a quick analysis here, but uh, still have like a week away before the game start. But Cooper Cup at, let's take it to flex. Cooper Cup at 12.4K, I think is completely warranted. Uh, probably going to get 10 to 15 targets a game. More often than not, he's always going to probably get above seven, but more often he's probably going to break 10 plus targets a game, probably go for like 7 to 13 catches a game, which at 12.4K, you're definitely going to have to pay a premium for him. But I think it's well warranted, right? Um, the upgrade with Matthew Stafford. Um, now, they did get Allen Robinson. Uh, I don't think that's really going to change Cup's usage too much. I still, I still think Cup is going to eat up all the usage, but you're going to have to pay a premium for him. I definitely don't hate it. Um, he's probably going to be the chalk of the chalk. We might have some value to fit him in. But yeah, I, I love Cooper Cup at the top. Um, usually I play wide receiver on the captain. So, uh, yeah, I'm expecting Cup to be extreme chalk um, and for good reason. <clears throat> now we get to the quarterbacks. Sorry, my voice is a little bit raspy. Let's hit the vape to make it even more raspy. We have Josh Allen, 12K, Matthew Stafford, 10.8K. I, I mean, quarterbacks on showdown slates are always going to have the highest floor. Now they're not going to have the highest ceiling. Wide receivers are always going to have the highest ceiling when it comes to, you know, main slates, showdown slates, etc. Um, quarterbacks will have the highest floor of the bunch. So I think Josh Allen, Matthew Stafford both look good in this spot. If I had to choose one, I'd probably choose Josh Allen, even though he is a little bit more expensive, just because he has the rushing ability, which makes his floor even higher than Matthew Stafford's. But you can definitely play both. Um, if you're playing cash games, I definitely think you can play both. I don't think you're going to be able to fit Cup in. Cup might be a must in cash games, but I think you can definitely fit both. I think both look really good on the showdown slate, and I definitely do prefer Josh Allen to Matthew Stafford. Stefan Diggs, 9K, kind of a kind of had a bad year last year. Like not a bad year, but I feel like a lot of people expected more. Like 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. I still think that's a pretty good year, but um, I think people were expecting him to be this fantasy monster, which he is. 
Um, but I think that'll come back this season. So Diggs, 9K. I definitely don't hate going to Diggs as like a pivot off Chalk Cooper Cup for almost $2,500 cheaper. Um, Diggs is going to be the clear number one on this team, obviously. Uh, I think Josh Allen is just going to continue to get better. High total game as well. So I think Diggs looks great. Um, definitely do like him, but I don't hate it. You're not going to be able to play Cup and Diggs together, most likely. So I definitely don't hate going to Diggs as like contrarian play if Cup is going to get all of the ownership. Now for running back, I have no idea what these teams are going to do. I, I really don't. More so the Rams. Like Cam Akers, 8K. Um, I, 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 I don't know what they're going to do, right? Um, they have Henderson, Cam Akers. Um, let's just pull up the depth chart. So I, I honestly don't know what to do. I think Cam Akers at 8K is a little bit overpriced, especially with the uncertainty what the Rams are going to do at running back. Um, let's just take a look. I started messaging beat writers and looking at all these beat writers' Twitters to figure out if anyone knows what's going to go on with um, the, let's see if she replied to me. No, she did not. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm kind of lost what to do with the running backs. Uh, more on the LA Ram side. So Cam Akers is solely going to just be a GPP play for me. He wasn't good, that good at the end of the year either. Um, so yeah, just a tournament play for me. Definitely some risk there. Gabe Davis getting a ton of ton of hype. I think it's warranted for good reason too. Um, I think the price is fine as well. So um if people are going to do those cup builds, they're probably going to go to like a Gabe Davis or um, McKenzie. More so McKenzie would be my guess. Um, but yeah. Um, when he was getting time last year, when he was given the opportunity, he produced. And now he's the wide receiver too on this team. Um, in a high, high, high powered offense. High game total as well. So I think Gabe Davis is definitely a perfectly fine play at that price. And I definitely think you can play him in cash games too. Like I was saying about the Rams, um, I think there is uncertainty with the running back position for both teams. Uh, more so the Rams. Um, Devin Singletary in the beginning of the season wasn't getting that much work. But towards the end of the season, he was, you know, getting a ton of usage. You know, 15 plus carries three, four, five targets. Um, so if we're going to get that Devin Singletary from the end of last year, I like him a lot at 7K, but I still definitely think there is risk with him. I think they could do a number of things. They drafted James Cook. I believe with the... sixty-third overall pick, um, pretty sure he is the number two on the depth chart. He is Zach Moss 3. Um, so just be aware. I think there's definitely risk. But if we're going to get the Singletary of last season. Where he's getting all this usage. I like him at 7k. I like him a lot at 7k. Uh, but you just be prepared. I'd probably categorize him as a fringe. Like GPP only. But maybe a fringe cash game play. In my opinion. I think um, Singletary is going to continue. To get most of the uh, volume at running back. Probably 60% would be my guess. So at that price tag, I definitely think he's a good play. Dawson Knox should not be more expensive than Allen Robinson. Um, I'm not sure why they have Allen Robinson at 6.2K and Dawson Knox at 6.8K. But Dawson Knox, he's not going to leave the field, right? He's a tight end with a pretty high floor. He's going to get targeted. Um, going to get targeted in the red zone a lot as well. Um, so they I don't think he's going to get like any ownership. So if you want to go to a lone guy, I don't think Dawson Knox is an issue. It's like, he's not going to leave the field. Like look, look at the, let's take a look at the snap counts towards the end of the season. He was basically playing hundred percent of the snap. So I'm, I'm not expecting that to change either. So I don't hate him as a contrarian play, but I definitely don't like the price. Allen Robinson, like I was saying, 6.2 K had a bad year last year, but I don't think anyone's really going to have a good year outside of like, I don't know if Mooney had a good year last year. I'm not sure, but um, that Chicago offense, I mean, it's just abysmal. So 
Now our Allen Robinson's on the Rams. He has Matthew Stafford. He has a much better offense. Um, yeah. Uh, I think he's going to have a great year. And I think this price of 6.2K is just egregiously too cheap for him. So I definitely do think Allen Robinson is one of the better plays on this slate. I do believe he is going to be pretty popular. And that is probably for good reason. Uh, backup quarterbacks. No. Higby, 5.6K. Like, Higby's not leaving the field either. Like, he's going to play close to 100% of the snaps as well. Same with Dawson Knox. So, if I if you had to ask me which tight end I prefer, I definitely do prefer Higby to Dawson Knox for the discount. Um, not sure how much ownership he's going to get, but definitely do prefer Higby. Crowder 5K. I don't understand why Crowder's 5K, and I don't understand why McKenzie is 2.4K. That just doesn't make sense to me. Crowder is the number four wide receiver on the depth chart, I believe. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, he is. So, not sure why McKenzie's that much cheaper than Crowder. Not sure why Crowder's even that expensive. Um, so, yeah. Not much interest there. Um, maybe if McKenzie's out, but I think he'll be ready for week one. Uh, but yeah, not much interest in Crowder. Like I said, with the running back situation, I have no idea what the Rams are going to do. Um, if you think it's going to be like a 50-50 split, then be my guest. Play Henderson. I definitely would prefer Henderson over Cam Akers for the discount if it's going to be a 50-50 split. If it's a 60-40 split, I definitely do prefer Henderson for the discount as well. Um, so just tournament only for me, and I don't have much confidence in it at all. Van Jefferson, 4.6K. If he plays, I think he's one of the better value plays on the slate. Him and McKenzie. Um, Van, Jefferson, uh, Van Jefferson does have upside. Um, and like I said, this game environment is just good. High total game as well. Sub 5K is just good for Van Jefferson. So um, if he plays, I like him. If he doesn't play, I think the guys that will benefit the most from that is... Uh, I don't know how to say it, Skowernek, and maybe Tutu, um, but Ben's not probably not going to run a ton of routes um, if he does get that work, um, but at 1.8K, you definitely don't need him to do a lot. I think he'd be a viable option if Jefferson is out. Um, Bills, Rams, probably not going to get to either of them with how high scoring this game I expect it to be. Um, so for them to be optimal, they'd have to you know, probably defensive touchdown multiple picks multiple sacks so probably not going to get to any of the defenses here um but the kickers i think are relatively safe value plays i think both are good value plays especially if um they're going to be kicking a lot which i don't know uh, but yeah 4k 3.8k i think both are solid values um like I said, with Buffalo, with the running backs, James Cook is um, number two on the depth chart. If you don't think Singletary is going to get that work, then yeah, be my guest. James Cook, viable option. Um, he's probably going to be more of the pass catching um, down back over Zach Moss, um, I would think. So it's all up to you. If we get clarity on that later down the road, um, I will update that in Discord. Um so, yeah, that'll just be something we'll have to watch. Um, and then McKenzie. Right now, if he plays um, wide receiver three, um, 2.4K is too cheap. So, he stands out as one of the best value plays on the slate, in my opinion, assuming he plays. And I'm probably not going to get to anyone else. Like, Ben, 2-2, I think are viable options if Jefferson doesn't play. Um... Knox is just on the field too much for like you you could throw Sweeney in large field tournaments but Knox is going to be on the field most of the time so none of these min, min price guys really are viable to me um outside of Sweeney for large large field tournaments um so yeah hope you guys have been having a good off season link to the discord through patreon will be into the description of this video and make sure to um 
go over to DFS Sports. Um, any questions, if you're not in Discord, I will answer. Have a good night. See you next time.